All right, I just hit record. Oh, I'll minimize the recording window. Okay, 15-minute um, MoGraph. Kevin just rocked the squishy assignment, and now I'm going to try my hand at it. Let me move your your window over here. <clears throat> so if you want to give me a countdown. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me start a timer for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, totally unprepared. Unacceptable, Kev. This is a serious <laughs> <All right>. business. <laughs> yep. Ready to go in five, four, four, oh. three, two, go. Okay. So I started my timer. I have prepared nothing. You can see my screen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's just. So I do have a, a, a thought on what I'm going to do. I watched a tutorial using the time. Time displacement, Ooh. time displace. Um, nice. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and start start off with the pre-comp. I'm going to make a, uh, what's it called, the side one. And then, actually, before I duplicate that, we're going to, how does that work? Well, we'll figure it out. Um, side two is going to be white. So, and then I'm going to have a control layer here. And we'll call it control, we'll put a slider, and we'll just put this to 100. So size, and let's, let's reveal the slider here. We'll call this scale, scale here. Okay, so my scale here, x is going to equal, oops, x is going to equal the slider, and y equals the first or the second value x y Man, okay you're going so, all expressions oh yeah so now when i do this that happens and i think i just need to do 100 minus and let's turn off transparency so now what happens okay uh Yep, so this guy needs to, we'll just make it one second. So I think, I think what needs to happen is, yeah, so now that it's like a, okay, good. So we're going to go from 0 to 100. So now it's like a, it's like a box rotating. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, and to like in oh, you know two D space. It should be wider. <clears throat> it should be wider at this point, right? Okay. I've wasted some time. I think I'm gonna undo these expressions. This is the the downside of not being prepared at all. So at this point they should both one should be this guy should be 100, and this guy should be 0. And then here, this guy should be 0, and this one should be 100. So now they, now they, 0, 100, and 100. OK, but when they're halfway, they actually should both be wider. We'll put this at 60. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going to happen? Some real-time problem solving going yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's just, yeah, so my, my control is in the middle. This is probably not the best way to do this, but, you know. It's a way, man. Yeah, That's our cats. It's a way. So we have... 100, we're going to copy and paste that. And when we get here, how big should this be? Probably mathematically, there's a way to figure this out. But. Um, Ooh, nice. That looks awesome. OK, so this, it's not perfect, but it works. And looks good for the purpose of 15 minutes. Yep. And so now I'm going to put a tint on here. And we're just going to pick a few school emotion colors. 
Nice. Ooh, that looks awesome. Okay, good. And yeah, good, good, good. So now, now we need a um, a map, a mat, uh, a map, map, mat. <laughs> we need a black and white layer. We'll just call this map. A black and white layer that um, controls the time displacement. So we're gonna use our map, effects and masks, and put the tint here, so. Ooh, nice, so ooh, nice. Warp. Nice, that's awesome. Okay, oh, and so nice. this, I believe, is controlled by, hang on, if I, how can I see this? I make this, we'll make it semi-transparent. So this guy, we're gonna keyframe both of these. So as you can see what's uh, happening. Okay, okay, I see it. Yep, yep, yep. Um, nice, that's awesome, man. Do we wanna do this though? I think for more control, I'm gonna make another PC map. We are on nine layer. minutes. Oof. All right. We oh, have man. nine minutes left. Sorry. Uh, I really should have looked. I, I literally just watched a tutorial on Instagram that I didn't even watch it all the way, and I should have. Um, so here, let's do a linear, linear wipe. Okay. So now let's open Essential Graphics and play with this a little bit. So we got the transition completion, and the angle and the feather. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn this opacity down really far and we're gonna make sure that we're looking at the map. Okay, so what happens when we do, okay, so this transition completion will also just, because it's completely black and white, it will impact I see. So now if we feather this, the feather will control the squishiness. Ooh. Okay. Very fancy. Okay. It's not it's not perfect. And is there a way to adjust time displacement in seconds? One. Well our animation is one second. Time resolution. If we crank this up, probably way too far. What if we put that five? Oh, it gets real Ooh. blocky. Ooh, this is kind of cool too. Okay, yeah. so let's cool. let's just Very get pixely. some keyframes down. We got zero percent and one hundred percent. I like that. I like the pixely look. <laughs> it to looks it. it looks pretty cool. Uh, but just for now, hang on. We're gonna we're gonna do this. So we got the. Let's start out with. Just a regular seven minutes. Yep. Okay, so here. Wait, what's my frame rate? 30. Shoot. Well, okay. 30 it is. Um, then we'll go one, two, three. And we're going to add some easing. So now it goes. And then it should go oh. back. Okay. Let's. That's too fast. Oops. What? At what point does it stop? It's eighty-eight. Okay. And at what point does it start? Eleven. Okay. So now it does this. Okay, and we'll move it up to second and a half, and then we'll bring it back at three seconds. So what does it look like now? Let 
then it doesn't go back. Why doesn't it go back? I don't know. I don't know. So that's that's cool. Um, uh, good. Okay. You so, have you're coming on to your five minute marker. Got it. Um, let's do a fast box blur to get rid of some of that edge, and then uh, I'm not sure if this is actually going to work. Simple choker. That'll bring the edge back, but this middle part is still kind of blurry. I don't like that. Okay, so we're going to crank this guy up. Okay, and then I'm going to find this in the source. This is going to be box one and then box two. We're going to just make this one black and this one uh, white. And now in a oh, bounce. Yeah, I reused, I reused the mm -hmm. template. OK, so now we're going to go this and this and then these two. We're going to bring them up here just to keep things organized. And then number one. OK, so it starts here. And then I think we just swap these colors, right? So it should go and then OK. Nice. Yeah, you know, it's not great, but it's okay. So let's Hey man, it looks much better than what I could have done with your what what you're trying to do. So Oh, it's cuz box Oh, that that actually works in my favor. So let's let's go ahead and add a quick um gradient fill and put it here. I'll do this. Put it way down here. Yep. Okay. And then on this guy, we're going to add another gradient fill. Oh, three minutes. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. So now we'll just, just flip these to be like, or actually, we'll make it like this. Okay. So now when we go back, it's a little more stylized. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Okay, like and that. now let's duplicate these. And this guy's going to look at number three. And we're going to put this way down to five. And the tint, hang on, let's add a quick, a quick background here. Gradient ramp. And we'll get some of this and some of this and oops how much time do i have two minutes two minutes oh why do i always cut this so, so close okay so this looks pretty cool um let me just change these so this guy i think what i want is it to be a black and a white and then i'm going to set it to uh add does that work? Is that what I want? No, I think I'm going to do this. I don't know if this is cool or not. How about a find edge? Looks cool to me, man. Looks cool to me. And what about 12? Sure, why not? And we'll put a deep glow. <laughs> I forgot. I was gonna try to put deep glow on uh, the toaster, the the toast itself, so to, to make it look like it was red hot. But <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, okay, so all right, you're coming up to one minute. Oh, good. We always put this down to the wire. So we want this to be number one. And what are the settings here? Twelve. Twelve. And so then. And then this guy, shoot, this guy's going to be set to add. 
but why isn't it? This guy is looking at number three. Oh, I, th I guess I just need to look at the same one. Yeah, okay, I don't even 30 seconds. But why does it? Uh, 20 seconds. Uh, this might be a fail moment here. Hang on. Swap. Swap. I can't figure out why it doesn't, mm -hmm. why it switches. Okay, you know what? I, ca I can't figure it out, so I'm just going to render. Uh, it's, it is what it is. We got a little squishy square rotation with a weird glitch in the middle. Uh, probably after this, I'll take like another two minutes to like iron out that, that all loop. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Well, you got it, you got it rendered in time, so, or at least you have it to render in time. <laughs> uh, here, wait, hang on, hang on. Let's, I'm going to, I'll reset my timer. We started at 15. I'm just going to quickly, if you have the time, I'm going to quickly yeah. just... I'm gonna delete these, and I'm gonna I'm gonna pre-comp all this stuff. I'm not even gonna name it, and then we're gonna time enable time remapping here. Delete this guy. So we're at what a minute or a second, 15 frames, and then we'll just we'll just make it go back and forth, and then oh. Yeah, what? Whoa. Things are getting funky here. Yeah, what happened over there? I don't know. I just reversed the time. I think it has to do so. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Never mind. It took a minute to do nothing. Okay. Cool, man. Well, I'm going to probably not do much with this after this recording. Thanks, Kevin. And uh, <laughs> no we'll, problem, see you. Man. we'll see you next week. <laughs>